Hello, and welcome back for some more The Lost Crown. And I should be doing something. <coughs> Research is key. Well, the first place to start researching, I believe, is the museum, which I've been told to visit earlier. So let's head there. No, this is not the right way, actually. But the hmm. I'll need to visit the bear later anyway, but oh well, let's visit the museum first. This is also the wrong way. Yeah, I'm very good at navigating, as you can see. That way! And then to the museum. The crazy old lady has disappeared. Hello! Well, this doesn't look like much like a museum so far. What's this? Saxton Museum. Oh. Hello. I was reading that! Stupid game. Right. Actually, this place has quite a few things. Welcome, weary traveller, to Saxon Museum and Library. This ancient fishing port boasts a rich and varied history, dating back to the most primitive times. Bloodthirsty barbarians once roamed our deep, dark landscape, leaving us haunting reminders of dangerous times. Alongside aged treasures, you will also find the museum features an eclectic mix of... What the hell is that word? I've never heard of such thing. Mic uh, mix of the ancient and modern, from, from Anglo-Saxon sword and helmet to railway memorabilia and gifts from the east. Look, three crowns. Good afternoon. May I explore the museum? Of course. That's why it's here. Thanks. I'm Nigel, by the way. Nigel Danvers. How interesting. I'm Oogle. Professor Oogle. The curator of this museum. Is there an entrance fee? Normally, yes. But the museum is free during public holidays. Cool. Should I be looking out for anything, in particular? Many of our exhibits are unusual or rare. What are you looking for in particular? What can you tell me about the lost Anglo-Saxon crown? Is it lost? Something that has yet to be found is not necessarily lost. I'm not sure I understand. If something has remained hidden, through centuries of upheaval and mischief, do you really think you have the right to disturb its slumber? Why does he sound like that? It's like he's a fucking robot. I don't see a microphone or anything. There's an opening there, so I should hear a normal voice, but for some reason, it sounds like his voice is coming from the speakers. Does the name Aegir mean anything to you? The Aegirs lived for many centuries out by Northfield. The family home still stands on Raven Lane. Where can I learn more about them? Here, of course. There are some exhibits with Acre connections. The murder and the mystery man may well be of interest. Could I borrow an exhibit for a seance or a similar experiment? The answer is no. Be warned, our security cameras are everywhere. We see all. Drat. 
May I ask you about I'll break else? in in the middle of the night. Yes, but do make your mind up. Would it be possible to return here tonight to ghost hunt? Certainly not. Some of our exhibits are priceless. We can't have students running around looking for ghouls and goblins. Um, is the museum haunted? Saxon has many old buildings, young man, which have played host to many characters. I believe some may be reluctant to leave the homes they once knew. Right. Thank you for your time. It is my job to help. Information is free. But feel free to donate to our fund. Nah. I'll just steal everything. He was a weird guy. Also, I'm not allowed to use the camera here. The sign said so. The museum was converted in the 1950s to the feast of displays and exhibits you can see today. Don't miss the Sexton Monster, a magnificent fossil discovered along the Sexton coastline. Again, I'm not sure what age I'm in because this has a website. And that should tell you about more modern times when I've everything so far has pointed to me being somewhere in the 60s and 70s. Did they have internet in the 70s? I doubt it. Anyway, <coughs> new Haddon Industries have donated several interactive touchscreen. Okay, so well, this would state that we are in present day, or at least this building is in present day. I see you. Right, all well, that was useless. Three Kings of Saxton. History tells us that the three Anglo-Saxon men ruled the area we know now as Saxton from the 5th century. They were Aldwulf and his two sons Gandalf and Pendred. Aldwulf made the briny seaside his kingdom with Pende based in Alcombe. Little is known about Gandalf, although his kingdom is believed to be located in the farmlands north of Saxton, known now simply as no Northfield. Arriving in wooden boats after the departure of the Romans, these men were highly skilled in craft, land management and animal husbandry. The existing tribes of Anglia required strong, knowledgeable and supportive rulers, so they established way of blah blah blah. Centuries after his death, the Anglo-Saxon blah blah blah, sons carried on his good work la la la, their influence and way of life still echoes la la la. I want to use an item on that. That's not right. No photography, filming or tampering in the museum. But I wanna! But I want to take a picture of it. No, I don't want to do that. Well, bugger. I guess I'll just ignore it then. Oh, bald dash. Oh, fish. Many archaeologists believe there is treasure hidden out there in the feathers. Thank you, Captain Obvious. An old pair of binoculars and what seems like a thermometer. Uh. What? I think the man's a barber or a tailor. He's got scissors. 61! Northfield, no. 1602. It's a dead body. It wants to talk to me. Have something to say, old chap. The 
is definitely something. I should listen to the recording. I couldn't make heads or tails out of that. <clears throat> hey, it's the silly hat of the silly man. Cool, and hit all his stuff. There's the sickle from the intro, which was found at the Eger house. There's his silly, silly hat, found in the field. And then there's a book. Eger house, Raven Lane, Norfield. Yes, you've spoken those words too, Aubrey, actually. The effigy of Nicholas Gurney, Dominus Chapel. Why didn't even the vicar know who he was? The, the museum knows who's buried there, it's Nicholas Gurney. Even I knew that, and the guy digging graves outside knew that. Who is Mystery Man? Well, I know who he is. I know damn well who he is. He's that... I can't remember his name, goddammit. I think it was the Eager guy, actually. No, not this way! This way. Oh, for God's sake. This place is an information dump. I want to take a picture. The museum surveillance can't see me from here. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, there in is. The map. Well spotted, old chap. Sedgemarsh Station, the Fens, Fenland Eye, Netstore, Waterloo Tower, Saxon Shore, the Bear, Saxon itself, War Memorial to Alcombe. Why is there a crown over there? Survival of these items suggests many of Gandalf's treasures, including his legendary crown and the one ring to rule them all may remain undiscovered in the lands around Saxton. Oh, God. It is interesting to know that people local to Anglia may have never gone looking for the hidden treasures, even in times of great need and poverty. Old superstitions believe that the great catastrophe... Blah. I like reading text in games, but this game just overwhelms. Emily's eyeglasses were found washed up on Saxton's shore two days after her disappearance. So it was Emily's ghost we saw. I know where Emily is. She's in the tidal caves. The museum is based in Saxon's old town hall, built around 1890. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't creepily stare at me for every time I go. Her death at Harbour Cottage, ah. Arriving in Saxon just after the war, Eduardo de Molina made a definite and lasting impression on the small town. Over the year, the Anglian coast has seen much in the way of trade, tourism and visitors, but Molina's sharp suits and flamboyant air were exotic to the simple people of the area. Sadly, Eduardo committed suicide only a few years after his arrival. By this time, he had acquired properties such as the Watch House, Harbour Cottage and the Dickens House. In fact, his body was found in Harbour Cottage dangling between the trapdoor and the low, lower levels. I haven't seen lower levels or a trapdoor. It is not known why Eduardo had chosen to hang himself in such a fashion, but local gossip hinted that he had experienced a great disappointment a few days. Well, his wife dumped him. What's this? Ah, I don't get it. Ah, da -da -da -da. Stop talking. Right. I heard growling. Emily Travers. I don't want to read all this stuff now. I'm sorry, people who are watching. If you're watching, but I don't just. What haunting eyes? They follow you around. I wanted to read the little plaque. Out. 
Is that an African mask? I hope not. Saxton monster! Crikey. There's an elephant! Olden families of Anne. Oh, for fuck's sakes. What creepy looking people? By what? Poo Lally! Poo Lally! With 12 ink illustrations. I see one and a two and three. And a four. And a five. That's that. There's no twelve. Liars. <sighs> the Russets. Middle English. I'm expected to read all this shit. All the Aegis. Well, there's a guy who runs a church. There's a guy with a sickle. There's a guy with a book. And there's a guy with a hat. Aha! Uh, what? I'm sorry, people. I just can't bring myself to read all this stuff. A new video panel can be found in the butterfly room and up a gallery. That's not right. Well, what am I supposed to use on this? This is the same book as was in the other place, I think. Bah! Bah! I say. Butterflies. I don't really care for butterflies. Like someone's knocking in there. Sounded like growling. Spivy scope. What is Spivy? Hello, Spivy. Spivy's a hero. Do browse the library for books about the Saxton and beyond. And here's one of the lost crowns, isn't it? The helmet is thought to belong to Gandalf, son of Aldwulf. No, Ganwulf, son of Aldwulf and his brother Penrith. <laughs> Ganwulf is believed to have ruled the area now known as Sexton, although his crown and dynasty are known to modern history. Replica. Well, Mr. Hat has the original. Also, my computer just went blithering mad. It's running, running at like two frames per second at the moment. I'm hearing whisper. Oh shit, I think this is gonna crash. Don't crash! What the fuck's going on? Seriously, my computer just went utterly AWOL. I'll give it a minute. Three frames per second, one frame per second, crash! No? Ten? Recovery! I have no fucking idea what happened. It's all not fully recovered. What the fuck? I'll click on this thing. Even Mr. Danvers isn't interested. This is a church.
like I thought the church was a real place. They've just gone and photographed it. And then turned it into a place for this game. And even that they've done poorly. The buggers! So is something going to happen in this video? It's a tombstone with a crown. It's the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Seriously, I have no idea what's going on with my computer right now. Seriously! Is there a point to this video? I doubt it. <sighs> No, oh, for fuck's sake. This doesn't seem like a real video a museum would have. Now it's looping. I've had enough. BORING! Oh, I'm back here. I think there was a way upstairs from here. This music sounds familiar. It's like I think it's from Final Fantasy Nine. Ding. This place is bloody huge. I didn't want to go up there yet. Down there, whatever the hell it goes. Hello. What the fuck is going on with my computer? I'm sorry, I think I'm gonna have to call it quits for now. There's something seriously, seriously wrong with my computer right now. I'm not sure if, if this video is actually recording properly. I mean, seriously. Even Mr. Danvers is doing something. Right, I'm gonna... I'm not sure if the game's actually bugging out or something. I'm gonna restart it. I'll be back in a while. The Mayday Fair. As soon as I stopped the recording, everything went better. I restarted the recording. And now we're running smoothly again. I've no idea what the hell go hell's going on here. No, I wanted to look at it. Or not, I guess. So where am I? This doesn't look like the same museum anymore. It looks different. I sense crows. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna watch that. Ah! No photography, filming, or tampering in the museum. 
Well, fuck you! Ha-ha! <laughs> There's definitely something. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Three crows. Mystery science depiction of an oak tree and crows. Recent scientific examination by historians using X-ray techniques provide futile as the oil pigments seem to defy the scanner. Oh well. It's a bunch of crows. Don't forget to explore the mystery surrounding the Saxon skeleton. Why is there so much whispering? Speak up! I can't hear you! At least the game's running again. There's a bird's nest in there. Oh, I'm back here. I'm gonna look around a bit and then I'm gonna see if I can go to the zero floor. The suicide's news. A grisly reminder of Edward Molina's fate. The local businessman and celebrity killed himself in the late 1950s. Right. Speak to me. There's definitely something. I should listen to the recording. Alright. He said semen. The last trumpet. A surviving musical instrument from Saxton's long lost brass band. How did they get it there? Because that's a metal ring. And if it's a solid ring, it can't fit that way, can't we? No, don't think about it. You'll just break your mind. the sound only comes from the right channel. I actually thought my speakers were going out the fringe again, but apparently not. Old time music. Old gramophone recordings donated by Wesley Russett after their discovery in Oakham Church. Oh Christ, this game is getting to me. Many archaeologists believe there is treasure. I wish you'd shut up. I really do. There's not really any characters in this game I like. I dislike them all with equal measure.
Hello. I'm in the basement. There's cockroaches. I don't think I should be down here. So, let's go investigate. No, I don't do jabber No, fuck. I would go investigate. Not. Well, I guess I'll just. I think I've had enough of this museum for one day. It was not nearly as an interesting place as I expect museums to be. I can't. Oh, hello. Say apple. Apple. He's not a talkative bunch. Oh well. Oh well. Where's that cool, cool music coming from? Ah, uh, I would have wanted to listen more. Oh no! Another one of these. Please, God, don't make me watch. Be sure to check the upper gallery to view some of our artistic masterpieces. Yawn. <laughs> if I wanted to learn about a place, I wouldn't watch a black and white film of it. I'd go look at the place. Actually, it's probably in colour, but I just can't see because I'm a dog. Rough. The new video panels can be found in the butterfly room and upper gallery. The game is apparently trying to make it very, very, very clear that they actually found a place to base Saxton upon. Thank you, game. You've made your point. I've had about enough. I am out of here! The museum is open from 11am to 6pm. Screw you! What was that sound? A bell tolled two, so it's two p.m. I guess. Oh, hello, doggy. Oh, he's a good doggy. Oh, he's a good doggy. Ah, oh, here you are. Hello, George. Hello, George. How are you doing, George? Apparently they've just buried a squirrel or something. There's also a little girl, I believe, is the crazy old woman. West by north, free. West by north, three, nineteen miles, one thousand and twenty seven. I'd hate myself <laughs> if I came into someone's house and did like if someone came to my house and did that, I'll shoot them. Well, sit down, boy, I'll put the kettle on. Yes, dear. <laughs> the dog barks without moving. Bridlington. I wonder if there's a point to this. I imagine that while we're watching these pictures, Old Nanny Noah and Nigel are having hot, sweaty, elderly sex.
They're using the radio to cover up the noise. Ah, the crescendo. Someone's about to come. Oh, give it rest already. I am this close to quitting this game altogether. Ah. I've had quite a day. I can see. You must tell me about it. But first, you must have some questions. Or something to show me? Uh? Can I ask about Northfield Church? Of course, I'll help if I can. I believe Northfield Church is haunted. Oh, without doubt. Who do you think it is? I'm not sure, but all clues are pointing towards the Aegis. The Aegis? Oh, Nigel. You're going to have to take care. Why? Is there something I should know? Brothers. Four of them. All connected to the local churches. Yes. Thomas Ager was a rector at Northfield. Ha! Dark, hearted, heathen that he was. Nasty man. Uh. I'm revisiting the church later tonight. How? It's a jolly long way and there's no night bus. The train tracks lead to Carrion Wood. From Sedgemarsh Station. In that case, you must take this charm. I felt there was someone or something watching me from the railway sidings. I know. I know, Nigel. Be careful tonight. Right. I met Mr. Russet, the grave digger. Wesley Russet is as old as these fens. He talked about the old ways. Oh, did he now? We'll have to talk about that, you and I. Have I done something wrong? No, not at all. You're just not ready for such things. May I ask about something else? Of course. I'll help if I can. You were right about the antique shop. Oh, Nigel, I told you not to visit. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Speaking of cats, there seem to be a few missing. Yes, vanished without trace, dratted creatures. Not a feline fan, eh? Oh, not at all. George loathes the things. The museum presented many mysteries. It hides more mystery than it exhibits. Dig deep, my boy. The answers are there to find. As well as more questions, I expect. Can you take a look at this item? Of course. I'll help if I can. Uh. Uh. Not all is as it seems. Okay. A digital photograph. It hides more mystery than it exhibits. Mm. Oh, I wish I could help. The museum guide. The announcement of a memorial. I have this. From Northfield Church. Oh goodness. Funeral service? And so soon? The vicar told me to bring it to you. Vicar? At Northfield? That was quick. Oh, thank you, Nigel. Yes, thank you. I shall get trimming and strimming later tonight. Poor evening. Oh, right. Oh, now, now. That's enough chatter for now. Give me your hand. What? Why? What do you want to do? Read your palm, of course. Come, come. The what? Firstly, Nigel, we shall look at your lifeline. It's this crease here, which runs from the side to the base of your hand. You have the best kind of lifeline, which is strong and clearly marked. I don't. It indicates good health and vitality. Well, I'm sick. Secondly, above the lifeline is the second most important marking in palmistry. The headline. Here is separate from your lifeline, indicating a logical and direct way of thinking. I have a pretty the strong this groove line there. Also indicates you have a good memory, which is always a good thing. Ah, uh, liar! My memory sucks. Next, your heart line, which is here from the centre finger to the left of your palm. Yours begins at the middle finger, which indicates you have a materialistic look upon life and love. 
these small broken lines indicate you have been unlucky in love. Lastly, your hand is square in shape. Mm, very square, in fact. Huh? This suggests you are hardworking, dedicated, and earthy individual. This is a good sign. It means you have good values and provide much for those you know and work with. I call bullshit. Is this your first palm reading? Yes, actually. I didn't realise the palm could be so revealing. Was it accurate? Ah, that would be telling. For now, I can tell you it was spookily accurate. They used to burn people for these kind of skills, you know. I know, superstitious fools. Even isolated villages like Saxton were ransacked by witch hunters, angry torch-bearing thugs, and the paranoid religious zealots of the Abbey. I believe the innocent people burned to lives still haunt this town. They're seeking justice for their deaths. A terrible business. Oh, is it night already? Well, that was fast. Holy, 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 out all the candles. And why? I lost the plants I gathered. I hate ghosts. I have and added whisper. any new evidence to the collection. I wish they'd just talk. Um these somehow that I'd know which ones I've gone through. That one I have, that one I have, that one I have. A recording from the church pews. Out of that. A recording from the church sanctuary. <coughs> yes, he took your hands. That one is obvious. Um. Strange recording from the second. Oh, I've listened to this one. A recording <clears throat> from the museum skeleton. No idea what that was about. Strange sounds recorded from the painting, Tree of Crows.
I hear crows. An eerie recording from the museum's noose exhibit. Sounds like a man hanging himself. That's not right. No. I'm hearing sounds. It is time to return to Carrion Woods and Northfield Church. I remember Catherine and Carswell and I know I have said about the train tracks. What is strange that the item old woman gave me is to protect the charm and effigy or just new age nonsense. I should also visit the bear. Why did I put the scissors there? Where's the light coming? No. Oh, haven't spotted these before. Well, they're empty. It's a bit pointless, isn't it? Why did I stick the scissors there? Why is the light on the scissors fuck stuff? Seriously, where's that shadow come? I don't give a damn. What was that sound? Sounded like someone trying to open a door. Even perhaps knocking on a door. Oh, this is where he hung himself. Over and looked into his grey eyes. 
Coming. Not just yet. There is something to investigate. Oh, sorry. I thought it was coming from that door. Okay. Cool. I can't see anyone inside. But is it safe? Of course it is. Just a ghost. Whoa. What on earth is that? Let's investigate. Is the cat? Nothing ventured. <laughs> this time there's something in the corner, isn't there? Nope. There's something in the sink. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hello. Pigs. What the hell were those things? Phantoms? Now there's nothing in the sink anymore. I'll take a picture of myself. I see. I'm a ghost. Well, then this camera's broken. I'm pretty sure I'm a ghost. Nigel's dead. Dead as a doornail. That's that's not right. That's not right. Try listening to yourself, mate. Right. Salt. I already have a photograph of this. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Right, so... I needed to go to the bathroom to have a scare. Nah. Why isn't that... Why is that fucking letter hmm. still? What's this? It's the same letter. No, it isn't. I should accept the station master's invite. A possible Mr. lead. <sighs> Shut up. Mr. Danvers, news has it that you're some kind of ghost hunter. Well, I'm sure Saxton Station has a presence, maybe even a poltergeist. The old photos fall from the wall in the night. I was wondering if you wanted to visit. I'll leave the doors open nightly in case you want to investigate. I station should master. accept the station master's yes. invite. Yes, I a should. possible lead. This town is as quiet as the grave. How do you know graves are quiet? Have you been in one? A young cat. I should accept the station master's invite. A possible lead. I should accept no. the station master's I want to go visit the bear first. Lead. It's close, sir. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Mr. Danvers, you're an annoying prick. Let's visit the museum in the middle of the night. The building is closed. Or not. Hello, cat. Where's up, cat? But it's dark in there. This has changed. Well, there's a new man in the... F actually... Several new people in the photo that didn't used to be there. What is that? Those are people, Nigel. People. You're not a purple people eater, are you? The 
was definitely something. I should listen to the recording. I already have. I already have a photograph of this. Oh, it's the same old spot that continues over there. Right. Snappity, snappity, crack, crack, crack. There's something. Perhaps a. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'll talk to the station master tomorrow about those appearances on the photographs. Now can I go visit the bear? Slow walking. What the fuck are you doing behind there? Good evening, Mr. Tawny. Bob, please, lad. We're outside working hours now. You said you'd be able to tell me about... What is he doing there? And crafts. Indeed I did. Does I he work here? I tell you. You can? Yep. Take this book. It's been on my shelf for many a year. I thought you said you couldn't, uh... <coughs> yeah, well, that's as maybe. But it's got pictures, see? I'll take a look. Later tonight. Good bedtime stories, they are. I've been exploring. The countryside, outside of town. Have you now? I bet you ran into old Russell. The grave digger? That's him, but don't let him hear you call him that. I met the Carswells at Ager House. Hush, lad. We don't go saying that name. Which one? Carswell or A? Like I said, we don't say it. Why not? Enjoy well. your evening, Mr. Tawney. You too, my boy. Get yourself some mead. Hello, cat. Meow. Ah, lovely cat. That sounds strange. I thought I heard voices. Me too. Me too, Mr. Danvers. Me too. But as you can see, Mr. Danvers is quite barren in here. Nobody around, eh? Lolcats. Knock, knock. Why are we knocking at the bathroom doors? I'm not sure. Also, the grave digger dude was supposed to be here. An old painting, or a copy of one. I guess he's not here yet, eh? I'll be back later. So I'll head off to Sedgemarsh. What's that? No swimming. I wasn't thinking of going. Oh. An abandoned building. It looks foreboding. Only one way to go. No, oh, we're skipping places now. Well, this game could do with a fast travel system. The tracks, the tracks, the fence, the fence. No, but the tracks are and the night and night. Will I have the charm? What am I supposed to do with it? I'll stay on the train tracks. What could possibly go wrong? I don't think I can die in this game. Blink to blink. Beware of trains. I feel somebody watching me from the darkness. Cool. Nothing ventured. Nothing ventured, he says. 
As always, nothing ventured. What's that? No! I thought there was a hole in the ground, it was just the way back. Nothing ventured. Nothing ventured. Yes, Nigel, nothing ventured. Every time you step into a dark place, you should say that. I'll make a fucking Nigel Danvers mode in my next game. There's something wrong with the signal. Is it stuck? I must think fast. There's a darkness approaching. I should probably use the charm then. I should take a photo of it first. That's not right. That's not right. Good lord. This isn't scary. This is just stupid. I'm zapping cardboard cutouts of ghosts. I can't help myself, this is just too silly. I can't take this game seriously. Oh, there's darkness again, isn't there? Let's go that way. That's not I feel somebody watching me from the darkness. So go I there. I feel somebody watching me. Pussy from the darkness. I just can't stay scared in this game about anything. It's just so silly. There's somebody watching you from the darkness, you know? You know? Nigel! I feel somebody watching me from the darkness. I just told you that, you idiot! Sure is dark in there. <laughs> it's too dark to see with my own eyes. Oh, it's a dungeon now. Well, you know what? I'm going to save here. I'll be back maybe tomorrow or someday. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching so far. Have a good. I hope you had a good laugh with me. Good night.